Hi, everybody. <laughs> How's good. everybody? Good. good. That's good. Back in my recliner. <laughs> Welcome home, Lulu. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be home. It's always good to be home. It's good to go away. It's good to come home. Yep. That smile you had pulling into your neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> it is. It's, a, it's such a feeling. When you've been gone for three months, it's just such a feeling just driving down the street. I'm like, oh my God, it's my neighborhood, you know? <laughs> and just, you know, reaching that destination and just knowing how many, how much time I spent in that van and how many miles I put on that van and that I came home in one piece and I pulled up to my house and my house was still standing. It didn't burn down. <laughs> I was like, oh, the roof is still on it, everything. I'm like, this is all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh my God. I was only gone for a week and I, and this weekend I was like, oh, it's so nice to sleep in my bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when I, when I climbed in that bed, it was like, oh my God, it's like three times as wide. It's only a full, <laughs> it's only a full size bed, but the, the one in my van is just, it's not much more wide than my body. And, uh, but there was something really cozy about that, um, that. Bed, that bed in the van. I slept great in the van. And then I just sprawled out here. Yeah. <laughs> did your kitty come out of hiding to, to greet you? She did. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. She, she holds a grudge for a little while. <laughs> and then she's like, all right. And then she was on my lap. Yep. It's just like, you know. <laughs> so how you doing, Barb? I'm good, Lulu. If everybody can mute yourselves. And we'll get started. And if anybody's not muted, we'll take a look at it, right? Right, Nicole? You're on, Nicole. You're in charge. <laughs> you can just shut people up anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, and welcome to Lulu's Way. Healthy food, healthy life. My name is Barb, and I am grateful for the opportunity to be your host this evening. In order to keep this meeting free from distraction, we ask that all in attendance, please mute yourselves unless you are speaking. We also ask that you keep the video mode turned off if you are doing anything other than sitting and participating in this meeting so that we can minimize distraction. In this community, we gather to support, encourage, and inspire on the benefits of nutrition, weight loss, wellness, and the joy that comes from choosing to serve yourself well. We are not medically trained, nor do we have formal training in nutrition. We come together here for the sole purpose of providing support, sharing experiences, and promoting a healthy lifestyle. It may be wise to check with your healthcare professional with any dietary suggestions or advice you receive from this group discussion, in particular, if you have health challenges. Individuals in this group may have different ideas on how to eat healthy, just figure out what works best for you and do it your way. All right, Lulu. Okay. It's the first meeting after the first of the month. Yes. I uh, maintained again, this is month five. Yeah. So I'm within my ideal weight range. So I was happy about that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That works lovely. So the topic today will be Lulu's weight gain. <laughs> Lulu's weight gain. Lulu's weight gain. Okay. Didn't I say didn't I say last week? I said I think I'm up, but you know, I don't go by my thoughts, I go by the scale. So um I'll tell you uh you know, who doesn't come back from vacation with a weight gain? Most people. I don't. I never do. Because I typically have the same type of lifestyle where, where, when I go away. So I'm hiking and moving around and stuff. This one, I was like extra, extra beach bummy. Like I was just extra in the chair. I was like, wow, I'm not even walking the beach. Usually I just like walk the beach every day. Sometimes like, um, you know, this is the down at the island down around the corner from the beach I was at is like, it's like a four mile walk. So you do the four miles to get to the end of the island, four miles back. Oh, well, I, I was just going to say easy breezy. It's not easy. The last, the last mile is kind of rough, but you know, you just want to sit down, but you know, just to do like eight miles or even, you know, hike mountains. When I went to Arizona, 
um, when I got back from Arizona from those few months away, um, I, I think my weight might've even been down, but I was extra beach bummy. And, uh, I was, I was up six pounds, six wow. pounds. Yes. Now, I was just like, well, hello, <laughs> holy shit. And <laughs> so, um, but you know something, I'm not even like, I'm not upset about it because first of all, it would be silly for me to be upset about it. I would be upset about it if I was getting McDonald's and ice creams and, and I came home and gained six pounds. First of all, I would have probably came home and gained about 20. <laughs> if I was doing that, it would have been for three months. It would have been a good 20. Um, I would do six if I went away for like three days. So that's my past. Okay. So I know what this is about. This is calories in calories out. I'm not a calorie counter, but let's face it. Calories in calories out. Um, energy food is energy. Calories just means energy, right? So, um, I was taking in this energy, even though this is a big, one of my big points here in talking about this is that, um, you know, some people say, well, like, you know, I really eat healthy. I really eat healthy, but I'm not losing any weight. It's just like this, there is such thing as like too much healthy food too. Here is a perfect example of it. So I was just eating the food plan that I have been eating for months or maybe even years. Um, that has kept my weight stable. And the only difference in these three months, first of all, when you're driving, doing a road trip, you're sitting and sitting and sitting. And then usually when I get to the other end, I'm busy, busy body, right? Um, the only time I stood up and never sat down was at my meetups. And that was, that was probably why it wasn't 10 pounds, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, we just had this routine where we just pulled up at the beach every day, pulled out the chairs, sat, sat. Um, so I come home and find this out. Well, all I know, I would be upset if I wasn't going to be, if I wasn't on it, that would be very upsetting, but I know I'm on it. So I have made the, uh, the adjustments, the, um, I put them in writing to myself. So then this is like, it's just hard, fast. And I'll tell you the, um, the, uh, changes I made, um, to bring my weight back down. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, well, first of all, it's new weight. You know what I mean? It's not new weight. New weight comes off pretty quick. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it will take a month, maybe two. And that's nothing. All my clothes still fit me. I'm still fabulous. You know, I still love myself. And, um, and I'm on it. And if I wasn't on it, I would be miserable. I'd be like, oh my God, I gained six. And then, well, I might as well eat, you know, and then I'd just be bad. And then I'd be eating until it was 50 or a hundred because that's my past. Um, so these are some adjustments that I've made, um, to bring my weight up. Okay. When I, when my weight was getting low, these are some things I did. Like I didn't want to add more food. I wanted to really kind of change the things I was having. Um, so, all right, what, one thing I did reduce was the grains. I went back to four ounces, from five ounces to four ounces. So that's hardly noticeable, but guess what? I notice it. <laughs> I notice it. It might be like two less bites of rice, and I notice it. <laughs> God bless me. Um, another thing I decided to do was to eliminate nuts. Um, I, they're very easy to have for protein when you're traveling. Um, but in comparison to, uh, you know, like fish or chicken, it's just so much higher in fat, but I have them anyway. I was having them anyway before I left on this trip. Okay. So it's not that I can't have the, um, nuts, but I'm not going to have them right now. I I'm going to choose not to have them right now. So, um, also the rice cakes, I think that rice cakes might be, uh, and now that's another thing that I have less of when I'm home than when I'm traveling. Cause it's so convenient because rice cakes is like a processed food. And even though it, the ingredients are clean, um, I think that, um, 
interferes with my weight maintenance for me for me and um also um olives are very high fat now i usually what i i, I always say i have six olives so if i'm having a salad i have six because this one here, I just put the whole jar in because who doesn't love olives? I'd have like 16 ounces of olives, you know. And what's that gonna? That's not gonna serve me well. But I love I love Greek olives, right? So I decided I don't need six olives in my salad. There's a little fat I can eliminate there. And also beef. I almost never get beef, but I found myself getting it getting it a few times at the store. So I would have it like a few days in a row, a few different times. That's also a lot higher in fat than chicken. And um, so I'm going to eliminate that. Um, also, um, I went from, I usually have three eggs for um, uh, a protein. I'm, I went back to two. Um, also, I moved my squash into the veggie category to help me maintain my weight. I put that back into the grain category. So I won't have squashes for, for vegetables anymore. This is the stuff I had to do to get my weight up because I was going out of my range. So I was like, this is the, these are the things I changed. So basically, I want to eat fish, chicken, and eggs each day. So eggs for breakfast and fish and chicken for either lunch or dinner. And um, I'm going to commit to that. So all of this is now my new food plan. So I don't have one olive. I won't have one olive. You know, also, I, I max the avocado to two ounces of avocado in a salad. Because, um, yeah, I was going a little heavy on the avocado. You know, like, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to have a half an avo avocado. But then, like, I'd be in Whole Foods. I'd be getting, like, the extra large ones. <laughs> you know? Well, not the ones, not those big, huge, huge ones. But, you know, like, they come, like, medium and large. And um, I would get the large ones and eat a half of one. And, you know, good for you. All of this stuff is very good for you. All the stuff I listed. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a lot... Like if I can just swap things out and that's going to, that's going to help, that's going to serve me well. So, you know, I don't, I, if I'm going to have squash, it will be at, um, at, uh, for a grain. Um, so I am like, I will not, I will not have, I have some almond butter left, I'm not touching it. If I have a spoonful of that, I am off my food plan. If I have squash for a veggie, I'm off my food plan. And I know you all know, I don't go off my food plan, okay? So I just redesigned um, what needs to serve me now. And um, I would, knowing my body, although, you know, it's been a long time since I was reducing because I've been maintaining, like Barb, five months in a row, you know, I've been maintaining for a long time. Um, I've had to do tweaks here and there. But you know, I'm older now, so I don't know. Maybe it won't, maybe it won't come off in a month. Maybe it will come off in two months. But you know, where am I going? You know, what am I waiting for? In fact, I'd be better off um, you know, maybe eliminating some of the stuff anyway, or maybe bringing things in a little slowly, you know. And I wouldn't mind getting into the lower end of my range, you know, instead of the higher end. Um, although, you know, it doesn't matter as long as I'm in the range. So, you know, when I stood on the scale, I was I was just like, holy moly. And um, I knew I was up. I felt I was up, but I, 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 I thought maybe I was still in my range, but nope. <laughs> oh, God love me. So, um, you know, I was hungry for every meal. I didn't feel like I was overeating, but it's it was a lot of high caloric things when you really think about it. Then, so I, the reason I'm sharing all this with you is, um, you know, if you find like your weight loss is stalled, you might want to look at some of these items, you know, um, and but don't don't deny yourself these uh, if, if they're serving you well and if you're still reducing and you're still feeling good. But those are ways. Those are the things to watch for, you know, to watch for some things like those high fat things. I had. Oh, I wish I could put my fingers on it. Um, I will after everybody's sharing when I can just leave the screen for a minute. And um, because I had looked up some. A couple of numbers this was a long time ago um and i i know it's in my file somewhere and it was um uh, like the protein count in some things uh, and then the calories too just as a comparison and it's uh something to, you know something let me just take a minute i'm gonna see if i can find it because i think i i know where it is um maybe you could share it yeah that's what i was that's what i wanted to do i wanted to screen share it 
while we're talking about it. Oh, here it is. So, oh, I, I was just I, curious. I was just curious, Lulu, when you got on the scale, um, if you thought about peeing again and seeing if it went down. <laughs> I did. I thought of you, Barb. I thought of you. <laughs> I was like, if I was Barb right now. Um, I'd get back on the toilet. I would get back on the there toilet and just that. and try to push out more pee. And then <laughs> I would be like maybe six ounces lighter. <laughs> I, I don't mean to make light of it, but I just had to, I had to throw that in there. Yeah. All right. So I found it. So let me show you. I'm going to show you okay. this. This is just really interesting. I think. Um, here it is. Okay. So if you look at this, if you look at the calories that are in, um, like steak, look at steak opposed to cod. Okay. And then look at the, uh, fat grams in steak. Oh, I didn't put nuts on here. That's what I should have done. Silly. But if you look at those, those grams of, um, protein, you know, like they're all kind of in the twenties. So you're getting that, that, the same amount of pro, pro like just, if you just look at like, you know, the cod is 20, the chicken is 21, but there's six grams more fat in chicken than cod. And, and then there's more calories. There's like almost triple the calories in steak over cod. So that's why I thought like, well, you know, I don't need to go crazy and say, oh, I'm going to have cod for breakfast and cod for lunch and cod for dinner. You know, um, I'm going to have cod or, or just a, a white fish once a day. Um, just to keep those that fat down. Look at a gram of fat, you know. So as, if I'm eating that, if I, if I was eating that beef, you know that that could have that could have uh, that could have been. And, and Lulu, is that saturated fat? That's so, just yeah. I guess it would be yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's like it I'm not yeah. A, yeah, because I'm not afraid of fat. Like this fat. Okay, so this fat in. Um, in these veggies too, in the olives and the nuts and the in the um, in the uh, avocado and all that, it's not that it's it's bad. Um, it's it's a lot contributes to what keeps us satiated. But as far as like wanting to meet my ideal goals, where I want to be, I might want to look at those and make better choices. But if you're choosing and you're having beef every day, and you're still reducing. You're fine. I'm not suggesting anybody make these changes, but it's kind of cool to keep an eye on it. If you, if you want to pick things up, you might want to kind of look at these and say, oh, you know, maybe I'll swap something out for something a little less that, but you don't want to sacrifice like the protein. You know what I mean? You want, you want to get the protein too. So, um, you know, I noticed like when I had my omelet this morning, I had a quinoa omelet. So I had the quinoa in the pan with the I put the eggs in and I'm I'm so used to making them with three and I made it with two and it was like, oh, not much egg here. <laughs> I was like, the quinoa was spilling out of the, out of the omelet because there wasn't enough egg to hold it. And I was just like, well, this is what happens when you reduce, you know, you have a, you have, I have, you know, I have goals. And my goal is, um, oh, Candace just said she, oh, what about two ounces? Well, we just can cut that in half, your numbers there. Let's see what she wrote. So 160 calories. No, I think there's a lot more than that. Four ounces? You sure that's not for one ounce? Anyway. I think I, I don't... yes, it is. It is for one ounce. It was okay, four yeah. Ounce, it was a one ounce of the four ounce, so it would be four times that. So it would be no two, two times that because a uh, um a nut serving a, a protein so... serving of nuts is two ounces. <laughs> is two so three hundred twenty calories, which is way more than the grams. steak. Way more than the steak. It would be twenty eight grams of fat. That's more than the steak, and only ten grams of protein, which is way less protein. Than the other thing so you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying yes. okay so um not to not have nuts because they're delicious but um when i was maintaining i i had nuts all the time before this trip 
nuts did me in. The nuts made me nuts. <laughs> but, um, oh. yeah, like I said, I'm not a calorie counter. And I, uh, though we have those choices. So if you're a vegetarian, you look at those protein choices, easy breezy. Everything except the first item. Eat everything except the first item that says four ounces of meat, chicken, or fish, or meat, poultry, or fish. Everything else is vegetarian. You know, if you're vegan, it's that and take out the cheeses and the eggs and you're left with the things that are vegan, which is there's still a handful of choices there. So um, it's just if if I want to increase my um, uh, my progress, then I would look at that list and maybe pick the things that are a little lighter, you know, as long as they're still serving you the, the numbers, the grams of protein, you know, so actually, you know, the biggest bang for your buck is is really white fish when you, when you really look at the numbers the how low in fat it is how um low in calories it is and how high in protein it is that and the chicken and i like to have the two eggs every day so so anyway this was uh something new for me this hasn't happened to me in 10 years i swear it hasn't happened to me but um but you know as soon as i get home i'm back into my regular lifestyle too so now I've got this new food plan with my regular, you know, I can go up and down the stairs 50 times a day. Like I just, and I don't even think of it. I just keep going up and down, up and down. If I forget something, I just go back down, you know, and, and, uh, it just, and I'm just laundry and out in the garage, out in the yard, I'm up, down, up, down, dancing in front of my mirror, my tap shoes, got my tap shoes out again and everything. And, um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm just back in that. It's, uh, you know, would I, would I go away again and be that lazy? Hell yeah. <laughs> it was great. I loved every minute of it, but maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just get more fish while I'm there, <laughs> you know, and just really now that I've learned this, I, you know, I don't want to next time. If I went next time and did the same thing, I mean, who am I fooling? You know? But I just, I really didn't, I just wasn't imagining that. I didn't know I was going to go and be so lazy. And um, I didn't know I was going to like have nuts every day because I usually don't have nuts every day, but it just got really convenient in the van. So just things like that. So this is more important to me than convenience in the van. So um, I'll just pay attention to it next time and um, and I won't do it again, you know. Um, uh, all my clothes still fit me. Uh Maybe the jeans might have, I think they'd still zip, but you know, it might be a little, might have to lay on the bed. I don't know. Wouldn't be the first time in my life I had to do that. <laughs> Tight jeans are cute, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't even want to wear them. I like my stretchies, <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, no, there's just no shame. There's no like, what kind of an example are you? I'm an example of human. I'm human. Um, and I'm always, I'm always a work in progress myself. Um, and I just learned something new about me that, wow, like if somebody invited me to sit on a beach for two months and do nothing, I would probably say, yeah, I don't think so. I don't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't sound like something I would want to do, but that's what I did, <laughs> you know? And, um, and I think I'd do it again. So, um, Anyway, I would love to hear about everybody's um, weigh-in, if you want to share about that. And because uh, I, th those that weigh in once a month, or anybody that weighs, however, however you weigh in, if you want to talk about it, or you can talk about anything else. Now, Barb, Barb had a good one. She's maintaining. She's doing it. Can I make a couple comments, Lou? Yes. Before we jump in. Just don't call me that. <laughs> No, never. Absolutely not. Look at the bug um, I have. I, I love your look at the I love your honesty and your uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Um and you know, the other thing too is you haven't weighed yourself in three months. Three months or four months? Three. Three months. Little so you didn't three. have the opportunity you didn't have the opportunity yeah. to see the gradual. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's you why this has never happened to me before. Because I've never gone three months without weighing in before. I'm kind of like, how did this happen? I've never seen anything like this. That's because I would have looked the first month and it would have been two. And I would have been like, oh, 
time to like make a little teeny change and then it would be back down. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just spare yourself any kind of, no, I, I'm sure you're not, no, I'm good. not worried about I'm good. And then the other thing, um, you made a really great point. Um, and I just wanted to reemphasize it that, um, I love that chart of the different, how, how a protein can be so different, even though we don't count calories. Saturated fat is a lot higher. I think we all know that about red meat, but if you didn't, that really highlighted, you know, yeah. saturated fat in red meat is 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 really bad for you. Really bad for you. So red meat sparingly is good, but it shouldn't probably be your go to. No. Unless it's working for you. But it's just so high in saturated and that's where you get into cholesterol and all that. Yeah. But that will affect your cholesterol. Yeah. But um you know, if somebody's plateauing, one, one without changing anything, you could say, oh, but I'm having red meat three times a week. Well, maybe if you cut down one time a week and put a cod or a chicken in there, maybe that would kick the plateau. I don't know, but it's just from your chart, that, that seems like a logical. Yeah, so I'm going to add that to that sense. chart. I'm going to add the nuts to that chart, and um, I'm going to look at all the protein I'm going to look at all the protein options on the food plan, like even the beans, the legumes and stuff. And I'm going to make that more thorough and I'll post it on our Facebook group. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody had a question. Denise <laughs> asked, how much does the decrease in exercise play into the equation? Decrease in exercise? Yeah, because I think, it's... Um, I think she's asking you. Because you, you used to always walk or hike or whatever, and you were kind of a little bit more sedentary with Laura, you know, at yeah. the beach this time around. Rightfully so. No, no judgment. But she just asked, um, you know, do you think that that played a role? Oh, oh, I think it's, I think that's all of it. Because, I mean, that food plan was working fine for me. And when I was home, it wasn't like I was going to the gym and going out for long walks every day. But if a friend called and said, you know, you want to go for a walk, I'd be like, yeah. And we'd go for a walk for like five or six miles. And I don't really think of it as I'm out burning calories. It just doesn't, it's not what I'm doing. I'm not out there burning calories. I'm just naturally active. And, you know, just doing a van build is very active. Um, doing work in the yard is active. So it just, I'm just an active person, but I don't really, I don't go to the gym. Oh, I go to the gym all the time. But I go to shower. <laughs> I was like, yeah. no, let's walk by this equipment again. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's wonderful. It's like, you know, because I, I don't want to. I don't want to go on those machines. I want to take a shower. I want to go outside, you know. Um, so I think that, you know, I don't like to pay attention to exercise. I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but I'm saying um, I don't want to be putting these uh, rules for myself. Like, this is, I'm going to go to the gym. I mean, I did this my whole life. Going to the gym this many days. Uh, I'm going to walk, and then I'm going to do sit-ups, and then I'll, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to do. It's a great thing to do. Um, but um, I don't feel myself committing to it the way I commit to my food. Because I think food is number one. Because you can exercise all you want. And if you're eating, you're not, you know, I, I don't, that's my experience, you know, is that, Exercise alone is just not going to do it um, for weight loss. But, um, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, it, it, this is really kind of what happened was that I was eating the same food, all healthy. Every speck of it was weighed and measured out. 16 ounces of veggies twice a day, all those big, you know, and, um, I think it was just a combination of my choices, my higher fat and calorie choices, and the the lack of activity. So, yeah, perfect. Does that answer your question, Denise? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I was just trying to see how you kind of uh, throw exercise into 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 what you're doing. Okay, so if you're on a food plan, if you're on this food plan and, you, you know, you're, you're feeling, you don't feel hungry, you're eating three meals a day, and, you know, when when they when the meal time comes, you're hungry, you're ready for it, you have it, and then you, you, you feel okay, and you're okay in between meals, and then you throw in an exercise program, 
I'm going to say that you'll probably be more hungry. But what I always say is you'll look for three, three things. You don't want to get dizzy, lightheaded, or weak. If you feel dizzy, lightheaded, or weak, you shouldn't feel like that for one minute on this food plan. And if you feel like that, you need more food. And then you just either figure it out yourself or ask somebody that could maybe um, give you a suggestion. Like me. <laughs> you could ask me if you want. You know, because you really only maybe need a little bit, you know, a little bit more. And probably in the protein department, I would say, if you were working out, that would be my my suggestion. As somebody like Barb read at the beginning of this meeting, you know, we're not nutritionists, we're not doctors, we don't know, we don't know what we're talking about. But that would just be my recommendation. Um, but if you're just feeling more hungry and you can manage it, it's probably going to pick, it'll pick up your weight loss naturally because it's calories in, calories out, you know? So, um, mm -hmm. but I don't want to be counting calories. I don't want to be sitting there with a calculator or apps trying to figure out, you know, I just, just weigh out my portions and, and just have my own rules. These are my new rules, you know, for the next month or two. And, uh, so yeah, dizzy, lightheaded or weak. Don't deal with that for a minute. And I was dizzy, lightheaded, and weak on diets most of my life because I'd be starving myself. And I just knew, like, oh, when I'm feeling like this, it means, like, I'm really burning calories. But actually, your body's going into, like, you know, a, a situation where it's going to start preserving because it's feeling like you're going to be starving. And it starts to preserve. And then your metabolism's, like, slow pokey, you know, trying not to burn what's there. And then you then it just, yeah, it's, it's not good. Yeah, you don't need okay. to do that. So it seems like the, the priority is the food always. And like secondary would be, you know, if you have the energy and you feel pumped up to do some walking, you know, slow, whatever, whatever yeah. you like to do. Yeah. Seems to be like just a plus. Yeah. And just do it because you love it, especially if it's a beautiful day exactly. and you want to go for a walk. And just to get outside and get moving or get your hands in the dirt out in the yard, you know? Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, and don't be afraid to even start an exercise program at a gym, like with, with machines and weights. And then just see how you respond to it. You might not need more food. And you, it might just, you know, uh, crank up your efforts, you know? Or mm -hmm. if you, like I said, if dizzy, lightheaded, or weak, you just might want to add more protein. Like even an ounce, like make it five ounces instead of four. As long as you you know you're still meeting your weight loss goals too, but it's really about being honest with yourself too. Am I really dizzy, lightheaded, or weak? Like really, you know? Because <laughs> be, oh, I think I feel a little dizzy, you know? After you spun around fourteen times, oh, I'm dizzy. I need more food. <laughs> I know all the tricks because I because I'm yeah. uh, that's me. We've been there, done that. <laughs> Anyway, right. so should, should we start having people share? I'd love to hear everybody about it from so. everybody else. So. Kat, you're up first. Hi. Hi, Kat. Uh, hi. This is my first time to this meeting. Yay. And uh, hi. I just wanted to say hi and and introduce myself. And um, I, um, I wanted to say thank you for putting the meetings um onto Facebook because it really helped me until I could get here in person uh, just to see how you were running it and um, just feel a little bit of support is so nice. Sure. Um, I have a question about the zucchini and you may have talked about it before uh, or about the squash and is that including summer squash? No. Is no. That, I, Oh, okay. Yeah, do you okay, have... I was like, summer squash? Oh, no, that's like my main vegetable oh, that I no. don't have. Winter squashes. Yeah, that isn't cruciferous. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't clear on that. It's winter squashes. Okay. Do you have a, do you have a copy of the food plan? I do. Okay, yes. cause, yeah, because on the food plan, it does say winter squashes. So, yes, I yes. Will still have zucchini and the yellow summer squash. And um, are there any other summer squashes? I don't think so. Delicata. Think the delicata squashes. Oh, there's those green ones that are, I mean, they're kind of light green and striped. 
they're uh, a more kind of our native kind of squash. Yeah. I don't, I forget what they call it, but it's in, it's like a summer or a yellow. And you're saying that the del delicata is more, it's more like a winter, isn't it? Well, you know something it's, it's, if you look at, if you look it up online, what I've, the research I've done is it's technically a summer squash. Oh, so I've used it cool. as a summer, although they say that a lot of the characteristics are comparable to a winter squash. It's still considered a summer squash. So what do you do? What do you do? You know, uh, summer, I guess winter, it's summer, very winter. flexible that way. Yeah. Um, it's hard to find the delicata. I haven't, it must be just mainly whole foods, huh? And then maybe. Uh, I think I've only seen them at whole foods. Yeah. Whole foods. Yeah. 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 And okay. not even all year. I don't think they're there all year round. Yeah. I think they have a season. Yeah. But you know, I'd like to get some and since, seeds. And since those are kind of on the board, on, right on the line, I think for my efforts uh, for the next month or two, I think I'll just eliminate that too. But, um, but oh, spaghetti squash. That's it, Denise. I knew there was another one. Spaghetti squash is a um, is a summer squash. There's the other one. Oh, it is a summer. Yeah. I would think it would be a winter. Okay. Yeah. No, there's nothing starchy about that at all. There's no, you know that starchiness. It's very it's very light and um, like that's a, like interesting because it seems starchy to me. You know, because you kind of use it instead of pasta. Yeah. Uh, but that's good to know that yeah. that's yeah. considered. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to say that, um, you know, I know myself well enough now that um, I, I, I'm kind of coming out of a multi-year period of um, so much stress and upheaval and um, uh, losing my home and I'm a real homebody and kind of being forced into um, living in my car, which I, I love to camp. So that was also fun, but I, it was like, I have a minivan. So it, it was really hard for me to be able to cook well for myself and, uh, do the veggies that I need. And, um, so anyway, I'm, I'm back in sticks and bricks now and, and, uh, and I'm just excited to have this group and to, um, check in with and um i've been wanting to you know find a group for this kind of eating um but i i do want to say that it's i'm not doing the the plan strictly right now because i can't jump into that kind of like i know myself well enough that if i change something too fast it'll backfire on me and and i'm doing really well taking small steps and um like little small steps towards that and getting, you know, all the stuff that I don't want to eat out of my house and, and uh, getting off of that kind of road food diet that I was on for a, a, a year. Um, uh, anyway, uh, I think that's all. Uh, thanks so much, you guys. Oh, thank you so much here. for letting us learn about you. And also, um, you know, whatever you whatever you're doing, if it's where I always say it doesn't, the plan that I use is just a plan. It's not the plan. It's it it's a great. It, it works uh, really well for me. And whatever whatever any alterations that anybody makes in wh however they're doing it, I always just say if it, if it's working for you, then it's then it's great. But if you if it's not working for you, you know you, you <laughs> what what you might want to look at the changes that you made that are you know if your weight loss is stalled or something, you just say like oh that's because I. I, I won't weigh it out or I won't whatever, you know, but um, if what you're doing is making you feel good and those baby steps, you said, mm -hmm. you know yourself, but those baby steps, as long as you're on the journey through those baby steps, um, feel you feel good, then that's good. Yeah. Th and thank you so much for sharing your little tweaks because it is, it's like, it's just like a, for me at this point in my life, I'm 61. Um, things are just little tweaks, you know, that's about how I can handle life, right? Little tweaks here and little tweaks there and trying to work things in and work things out, but in a, in a manageable, small kind of way. Um, so it was really good to hear your, um, 
what you're doing to tweak your program right now. So thanks again. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, Kat. All right, Marissa. Hi, everyone. Um, Hi, Marissa. I, um, I have some questions and I wanted some clarification because Lulu, you were gone for three months and um, can you say again how much you gained? Six. Six, doesn't look it, but anyway. No, I don't um, feel. <laughs> No, it doesn't look it, but I, I really want clarification because I've been watching you for a long time and I know that you're very active. So like you're out in Iowa and you're walking on rail trails and, you know, you're out west, you're climbing big mountains. And I know that at the beach you were, you know, just there. So I'm wondering, are you concerned you're going to lose a lot of weight, like a tremendous amount of weight in a month because you're changing so much or, or taking away so much? I don't think so. I really don't think so because um, I'm not really eating a lot less. The only the only reduction was really um, uh, the grain from five ounces to four ounces and the eggs from three to two. Other than that, I'm eating the same amount. I think it's just you know it's just you know I'm not I'm not hungry like I'm not I've been doing this for two days now. I don't really feel any more hungry. Um, I, I don't, I really don't think I'm going to waste away in a month. I, I think that it will be taken care of in a month, but maybe two. I don't know because I'm 65 years old. You know, it's not like it pours off me like it, like it did when I was younger, you know, but you are busy. You're active. You're I'm busy active. and active. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But, but you won't weigh in a month and no, like you won't do three months. Of oh, no, no, heavy, no. Heavy cutting back. Oh, no, 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 no. I weigh in the first of every month. The only reason I didn't weigh in when I was gone is because of the circumstances that I want. I want to be first thing in the morning, before, right after I pee, before I eat or drink anything, totally naked. There's nowhere in Florida that that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it could never, all that could never come together for me in Florida. Um, plus, I like to use my scale so i'm on the same scale because scales can be different too i don't want to be on another scale that says that i'm the same if i was going up you know what i mean because that scale is different or, or vice versa so i just don't i don't i don't want to i just i was fine for the whole time i was like oh you know i feel like i feel like maybe i'm up a few i was like when i when i, I was last week i was saying oh when i turn my head i feel like a little double chin right here I felt a little something here when I turned my head and um uh but I was right I was right I was up a few so but um I think that with these very small changes um and it's really not a change in volume very much at all it's still the volume it's just um you know paying attention to the choices that's what I'm gonna do thank you yep Thank you, Marissa. Candice, you're up. A couple of things. Uh, I, the first, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay. My, in my, in, I'm unstable. My internet's unstable, so I may go in and out. But the first month I was dying doing this plan, this meal plan, I lost about 10 pounds. The second month, I gained five and I stayed there all month. Well, the first month I took all the nuts and dried fruit and things I had and put them in the freezer downstairs and lost the weight fast. The second month I brought the nuts back out and was throwing them in my cereal, a couple here and there, maybe a handful for a snack if I was just starving. And the weight came, some came back and was plateaued. So now I'm not buying any more nuts. Um, the other thing is some of the foods you mentioned are a lower density. Um, not only the fat and the protein, but looking at the fiber, if you're gaining weight, kind of take a look at your fiber too, to see if you're eating more, less fiber dense foods and switch to higher fiber dense foods in the same category, mm -hmm. I think helps and helps you feel fuller. And then third, I hope this doesn't um, uh, upset anyone, but I, I'm a big fan of a woman named Joan Neal. I don't know, she does wild, wild women. And she does these drawings and paintings of women who are larger women who are just having all sorts of fun. 
usually they're running down. There was three of them running down the beach and were throwing their bathing suits off and, you know, from the back. And I thought of you and your friends at the beach just going wild. But this one is called, I think you can see it. This one is called Embarking on Spell Tonight. Look at this and I think of Big Ass Salad. <laughs> <laughs> a big she's, ass right in front of the salad. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's great. She does cups and pictures of prints, and oh. I have quite a few of her cups. Oh. But um, back to you know just the way just density is another fiber density and uh, the food. If you're eating a big handful, of, you know, like we said before, three big handfuls of you know 16 ounces of vegetables of greens and carrots and things that are high fiber and you can eat a lot more or it's going to serve you better than three ounces of you know olives and some other foods that may be mm. peanut butter things like that so just just a thought yeah. thanks candace thanks. yeah it's good that you recognized um the challenges that could have made the second month so much different than the first month with the nuts and everything, Candace. Yes. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate that. Um, appreciate your honesty, too, because sometimes it's hard to share the unsuccess. It's easy to share success, right? So thank you for sharing sharing both with us. Uh, let's see who's up next. Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Yes, yeah, it's me. Hey, everybody. Good to How see you. How y'all doing? I just want to share my progress this month. I'm down six more pounds. What? Yes, yeah, so that's 15 pounds. I don't have to carry around now. And, and you're six pounds, six, did you say? It came, yes. it came over here. <laughs> well, don't take it, Lulu. <laughs> Whoa. Give it away. Give it away, I know. Well, good for I you. Know. That's a great, yeah. that's a great month. Yeah, I'm super excited. Nice. So that's just pounds I don't have to carry around no more. Oh, so we're doing it. And you know, if, you, doing it, guys. if, you, if you, doing it, if you pick up like a five pound weight and a one pound weight, th that's, that's, that's weight. Yeah. 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 Good for you. So I'm super excited. Yeah. That's all I had to share. Now are you, so oh, you, you're a... following the food plan and you, are you exercising too, or are you just kind of anything in on and off i haven't been consistent with it but yeah. it's just on and off yeah, like, yeah. that's why i say I'm, it's the food I'm getting it's, there but it's the yeah. food see it's like the food can do it i think the yeah. food can do it alone but the exercise yeah. can't do it alone but both together is the best but i i think that yeah. food so your proof six to six pounds in a month is you can do it yeah. with the food <clears throat> good for you i'm so grateful you're here doing it with us glad to be here yay yeah Congratulations, Nicole. And Nicole, you're still buddies? <laughs> you're still, you're still uh, buddies texting and stuff? Yep, we're still buddies. And I'll just jump in really quickly because I got some guff from my Sheila saying, aren't you going to say your success? Um, this past month for me, it was 6.8 pounds. What? So... I know. So now the total, remember last week I was like, it's only been 26 pounds. Now it's 32.8. Oh, wow. I just got chills all over my body. I can feel my hair standing up. Oh, I'm so excited for you. The total, is the total again, 32? 32.8. That's very important. <laughs> no, it, it certainly is. It oh, certainly my is. God. Not... That's so amazing. Look at you two. Now, these two, they hooked up. They just met on this meeting. They decided to hook up and just be like somebody to have somebody to account, accountability accountability buddies. Is that what you call yourself? Accountability buddies. Yeah. So yep. anybody want to grab a buddy, just anybody that you hear speak and you say like, Oh, I'd like them to be my buddy. You can just send them a chat, send them a private chat and just say, you know, can you want to team up with me? You know? And so the two of them and look at, look at the week, the month that they had. And I will say, you know, I was I was on cloud nine all day for us because I knew right away what Sheila had accomplished. And it just like was this joy, like, yes, girl, you know, this we are doing it. And I wondered about all of you too, like really yeah, excited yeah. to hear. But just like, um, I don't know why we're just so in it every day. You don't you don't really maybe realize I'm going somewhere with this, you know? Yeah. So yeah. 
Great. What a this journey. is great. How long have you been doing it, Nicole, now? Since November. Actually, October 29th. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, That's great. Yeah. So, so five months. Five months. Yep, five months. Five months, 32.8. And not that's, and not feeling hungry and deprived. Of that's it. a little over six pounds, six pounds a month. Yeah, right? perfect. Yep. Yeah, so and I will little, just say a little bit over one pound a week. And we said from the beginning, one to two pounds per week is perfect. Yeah. 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 And you know how last week, Lulu, you said and Barb, you pointed it out. You know, I'm one meal away or whatever from size 22 pants. Well, I'm wearing size 22 pants, and they don't hurt me. And I'm thrilled. And I know it's only temporary, but you know, my highest, not this past October, but my highest was 26 slash 28. And so I'm just working my way down the twenties. And, yep. and, you know, I thought about them when I held them up, I'm like, well, these are size 22. They don't, they're not tight and I'm on my way. Nice. So I can you. remember I was, yeah. I was in a 22 myself. And I remember when I went down to like a 20, then when I went down to 18, it felt so cool. Like that was, that was the time I could start buying clothes in a regular store, you know, and then 16, 14, 14, I felt like a skinny mini, you know, and, um, and they were each one of them. And I would, I would just go to the thrift store and buy a whole new wardrobe and a new, a new size. That's when I first started getting familiar with thrift stores. I never went to thrift stores. But as I was going down the scale, I was just like, what am I going to do? Buy a whole new wardrobe in every size? And um, so I would just go bring all the 20s back and get all 18s, then bring all the 18s back and get 16s. And um, and now I'm in, in an 8, and an 8 feels really good to me. But when I was in a 10, I felt good. When I was in a tw I, I I felt good all the way down. It was just every size just felt nice and small for me, you know? So just enjoy the journey and you don't have to wait for the eight. You know what I mean? It's just like, just, just enjoy that getting down to that next one. Just enjoy them. Just not being tight. Like you said. Yep. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I found, I found it interesting when I was on my weight loss journey that when I hit, like I call it every decade. So when I went from 190 to 180 to 170, when I went to each decade, I was so happy but it's so different when you're going the other way, right? When, oh. you know, when we've all gained weight and you get to 160 and you're like, oh, but then I'm at 180 going, yeah, I'm going to be at 160, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Perspective, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like you, Nicole, you're happy to be in loose 20s or loose 22s, right? Knowing that you were in 26s. So it's a win-win, even though yeah. it's not where you want to be, but it's a huge win. Huge. It is yeah. huge. I'm really you. excited. And just one more shout out, Kat. I'm glad you're I'm here. It, and and you too, Cammy, are new people. I think, I hope you're just as thrilled to find us because this has just been a life changer, the support here. And I just love that you've joined us. Oh, that's sweet. Very I'm nice happy people. they joined us too. Yeah. Oh, boy. Such, such wonderful things. All right, where are we here? Pam from New Jersey. Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi. We are on a roll here as people. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Um, yeah, so I'm going to report my happy news this week. Um, oh, I just got chills again. <laughs> <laughs> since start, I didn't hit that 50. I'm at 49 pounds total. <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> That other pound's gonna be gone by next week. <laughs> oh wow! Um, and I've been—I looked at my because I didn't—I don't write it down all the time. So the last time I wrote it down was actually three fourteen. So it's been ooh. Sorry. Um. So since March fourteenth, it, it's been six pounds. Um, and I think the last time I was talking about um, I know I'm moving great but for me it just felt too slow <laughs> the one pound Did you say six uh -huh. pounds from march 15th 14th yeah wow that's only a couple of weeks right about oh. two and a half weeks oh, yeah okay. but what i've been trying to is kind of what you were talking about what i've kind of been trying to pay attention to to try to boost it a little more than one pound 
um, and not messing things up is I've been watching and not having the peanut butter more than twice a week um, for my breakfast and um, cheese definitely only limiting to maybe one time or I'll use just a half of a portion on a salad um, and the nuts. So and I don't really have beef very often ever but <laughs> um and i've been actually using a lot more tofu just because i discovered i liked it and it's cheap <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> um and i'm actually enjoying it i'm enjoying cooking with it and eating it so um so i've you know kind of realized that getting rid of those higher fat choices yeah i'm trying to that way i don't have to slow like eat less on the grains or less on anything. I just yeah. have to make a better choice. Yeah. And, um, and I do think the activity level, um, I'm trying, I, well, I feel so much more energy that, um, nice. I'm like, just try, even if it's been so rainy and I, I don't really get out for walks, but I'll just vacuum, I'll do something, yeah. um, to, to do, to move. If I'm stuck in the apartment and there's not too much I can do, um, yeah, I'm finding I'm vacuuming much more frequently than I ever did. <laughs> she got the cleanest house on the block. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I'm moving. You know, yeah. I make it exaggerate yeah. the movements, and I, I I just walk around and do things. Yeah, Good. Um, and I do think that and making the better choices yeah. within the plan. Right. Um, has made it just made me feel better because I guess I saw a bigger jump, a bigger down. Yeah, nice. And you know, and, I think it's important that all those choices are there. Yeah. You know, rather than saying don't eat nuts and don't eat beef, and you know, um, it's like it's there, and it's just kind of you know use it wisely. You know, is, mm -hmm. it, is it serving me well? Kind of a thing. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. I do look forward to the peanut butter. Yeah. You know, on my rice cake with some fruit, I do look forward to it. And I, I don't think it's a good idea to take everything away that you look forward to. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, and Barb, um, with your decade thing, I finally dropped into this decade that I have been longing to get to. Oh, yay. <laughs> I dropped three pounds into it, so I'm very nice. happy. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that the best when you go into another decade? I couldn't believe oh. I dropped from, I'll say it, from down under 230. To Great. 227. I was shocked that it finally said that. I didn't think I was ever going to leave the 230s. Yeah. I thought I was doomed yeah. to be there forever. <laughs> yeah. No. Good for you. Uh -uh. So, yeah, well, very, so happy for you. very excited. Good for you. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, working in your house or doing housework or doing garden work or yard work, whatever. It's, it, I've heard this term recently. It's called functional exercise, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in a gym. It's all exercise and you're moving. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, Pam. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so High much. Five, Pam. High five. High five. Thank you, Lulu, yeah. for this whole group and yeah. everyone here. Yeah. This is yeah. great. Excellent. Oh, Pam, you make my heart full. You make my heart right. sing. Yeah, you make my heart sing. There we go. Now it's all in our head, isn't it? Everybody, it's all in our head. A little warm. And for those that are new here, Lulu has a song that she wrote and her son wrote and produced and she sings in, and it's an earworm. And we'll play it soon. We'll play it but soon. But it's a great song. It's a good dancing song. Yeah. All right. Okay, Pam, thank you. And, and you know who's up next? Who? Oh. My... My best friend from Florida. Please welcome, Miss Thomas. Chris. Good evening, good Hi, people. Hi, Chris. It's so good to see everyone. And Hi, Chris. I'm so thrilled by all the stories of success. And uh, it seems like six was a big number this month. And I wasn't six, oh. but I was 4.4. Wow, nice. And I have entered into a lower decade. <gasps> I am very proud. Yeah. I am 197.2. Oh. And I'm just thrilled. It's just thrilling. Just thrilling. And um, what was it again? 197.2. So you went from, oh, you, went, you, left the, a, you left the century. That's not just I'm, I'm, a decade. I'm out of the 200s. That's out a century. That's not a decade. That's a century. 
Oh yeah, Essential, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yep. So I'm I'm, I'm really uh, pleased about it. it's not a huge weight loss. Uh, and, no, you know, that's a good one. Listen, that's a good one. Listen, but listening to what um, you know you've been saying, Lulu, just about yourself, and I think that there are a couple of things I might want to tweak also. You, you know, know. Yeah. and um, not not trying to get huge because I just think consistency is the best thing, and yep. just you know keep plodding along, and I'm yep. just really happy about that, and. I am just happy to be here and see oh, all of you. So, I'm so happy. Yeah. Nice high five, job. High five, Barb. High five. Ooh, high nice five. job. Be encouraged, everyone. Oh. You know, and I do want to say that we, we're, we're hearing a lot of successes. And then we also have, you know, Lulu gained weight. And there's, you know, not everybody has successes, but everybody has a learning, right? Mm -hmm. So we're all learning. And so if you didn't have a success this, this month or any month, what can we learn from it and do better the next month, right? Mm. So. Yeah, that's why it's so helpful, even though, you know, I'm not happy that you gained six pounds, Lulu, but your way of handling it to make sure that it doesn't become something permanent, you just yeah. deal with it immediately. Immediately. You know, it's not yeah. like you were not eating the things that you were supposed to, but yeah. there are adjustments that you can make. And I think that, gives us a lot of encouragement there because yeah. that's been my pattern all my life you fall off the wagon oh well yeah yeah you know it's all up for grabs and you, a year two years later here you are trying something else that's crazy yeah. but you know just find something that works and stick with it and from time to time make adjustments as needed yeah. so and that's yeah. why i'm not even a little bit upset i don't feel shameful i don't feel like i was bad i just i it, stand on the scale for information it was the information. I got my information. I was just shocked. <laughs> I was just shocked because I wasn't expecting that that much, you know. Um, but, you know, it was over three months. It wasn't like I gained six in a month. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm on it. So that's how can that not feel great? It's just like everybody else that's on it. You just you can feel great now. You know, it's about just being on the wagon in the wagon. You know, I'm in the wagon, no matter, you know, I want to stay in the wagon and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, it would be a whole different mental feel if I came home with six pounds on me because oh, I went out for ice creams twice with somebody and I had, you know, I was eating a couple French fries one night, you know, I would hate myself. Yeah. You know, I would hate, I would despise yeah. myself. I've just been so disgusted with myself. But I'm not. I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that like, wow, next time you go to the beach and sit on your ass for two months, you might want to make some changes before rather than after. <laughs> and that's what I'll do. Because if I want to still, if I want to do that on the beach, that's what I'm going to do. Because I do what I want to do. You know, I like to do what I, what I enjoy. And that's what I organically wanted to do. Like, I didn't give it any thought. It just happened, you know. And, um. I would have never guessed it that that I would have chosen to do that. I, I would spend, you know, two months doing the electric slide with you, Chris. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. <laughs> That's for sure. I watched that video did you today. Do the electric slide in Florida. Oh, oh, of course that's, we did. that's my that's my song, man. Oh, that's that's song. my song, Chris. Really? Oh, I'm telling oh. you, that's my song. Next yeah. week, next week we're doing the electric slide. Oh, and you know what was I funny? The you, know, you know what was funny after we did the electric slide? You know, I was milling around and Lulu called me over. She said, look, you, we can dance the electric side to this song. And we started dancing it to all kinds of songs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You don't have to just do it to the, the electric slide. Because no. we weren't done doing the electric slide, but we were done listening to the electric slide. Yeah. So I was just like, yeah. watch, yeah. watch it, watch this song. And she'd be like, wow, this is cool. And then everybody's up doing the electric side Everybody to whatever in. song. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, you, it works to a lot of different songs. <laughs> well, I have one more one more thing to report. Uh, today makes day eleven without coffee. Really, you did it? Yeah, I did it. Well, you know, remember I, I know said, you did you know, it. Yeah. Those who, some may not have been heard last week that you know I had oral surgery, so I was taking ibuprofen for pain. So I decided I'd take advantage to try to stop the coffee because the ibuprofen would you know deal with any headaches, and it worked until last week Thursday. And I said, said to my mom, "What? My head is killing me." I get up in the morning, my head is killing me. And Saturday, I thought to myself, I have to have some coffee. 
And then I went and I did something and I forgot about it and I've made it to 11 days, nice. no more headaches. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. How does it feel? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. You know, and, and for me, it's also, I don't have this, you know, the jittery feelings and that other people have, but for me, it's also about breaking my addictions. Yes. You know, as, as I've mentioned to some of you, you know, the next thing I really want to work on is my vaping. You know, I came, I used to smoke years ago and, and I vape. I only want to really, I want to get to a place where everything I put in and on my body is going to serve me well. Yeah. And so for me, I needed to stop drinking coffee. Yeah. That's, that's just one more thing in my path on my journey Good. that I wanted to accomplish. So Good for yeah. you. And how you all healed up from your surgery? Everything healed up nicely? It's, it's, still, kind of, it's still kind of hurting a little bit, but uh, I go for a follow-up on Monday, but much better than Good. I was. Thank you for Good. asking. Good. Yeah. Excellent. That she is so innocent, like coffee, and it it takes over a week, I think, for you mm -hmm. to not have the headaches. Yeah. Right. So yeah. so so, how could coffee serve you well if it if it causes that kind of pain when you try not to right. drink it? Right. And I I rarely had two cups a day. It was just that first cup, and I would drink it, you know, until it was finished, whatever time that was, and but. Yeah. yeah, just you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I was. Well, I was we're here on the journey, Chris. We'll yeah. we'll, we'll get there mm -hmm. together. Yeah, and we I will. Was, and we I will. was only I was only one mug a day too, and you know, mm -hmm. it was just I just got sensitive to it. I just yeah. developed a sensitivity to it because there was a time yeah. I used to drink five cups of coffee a day, and I didn't. I wasn't like jittery, um, but I was limiting myself to one a day because. I was like, oh, I'll be, I'd be drinking it all day long. And it was kind of like only for the day. And I was just like, I just want to see if I can have it once a day without giving it up. And that served me well for probably 10 years, I'm going to say. I did one one mm -hmm. cup a day. And then that, and then, and then slowly but surely, <laughs> it became a problem. Yeah. yeah. I'm yep. glad that it's gone. I'm glad that it's gone. <clears throat> it's easier to make Dandy Blend than a cup of coffee, too. Especially in the van. I gotta get some of that dandy one. Um, maybe I'll try it in June, Lulu. You wanna try some of mine? You throw me a scoop of dandy one. I'll throw you a scoop. <laughs> Only if you do the electric slide with me. Well, all right. Oh, all we're right, having a dance in the forest. Trust me. We don't. We won't have oh, a well. pavilion, but we'll be having a dance. Absolutely. We'll have a dance. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks, Chris, for sharing. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, me too. I should have known we're like separated from birth. I should have known you love the electric slide. I mean, <laughs> how did I not know that? I know, right? For real. I don't know. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. I don't even do it that good, but I just love to do it. I don't dance yeah. good, but I love to dance. It's just whatever. <laughs> it's all it's all a matter of perspective. And movement. Yeah. And movement, yes. Sherry from Seattle. How are you? Hi, I'm well. Hi, it's Sherry. So good. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be here because this is the second time I've been able to make it. And I've been trying to make it to the healthy food um, uh, day meetups ever since you started them. Oh. And I finally. Yay. <laughs> and I wanted to thank you. Um, who Lulu and somebody else was helping me with the what what dandy blend is what that was all about so i tried it and i am all in oh, cool. that is it it uh, yeah i find it to be the perfect coffee alternative it so really is, yeah. thank you yes. for that a subscriber of of mine on my channel um uh she told somebody told me about it when i was saying i was had to give up coffee and i, I got a few suggestions on a few different items and some things i didn't enjoy and that one i did so yeah. yeah, thank you yep. for sharing that. And I, I wanted to ask you too, I, in watching your videos um, on, you know, YouTube, I you're always cooking in the Instapot, fixing your veggies, and some of them you only do for one minute, and or some you even do for zero, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And I was wondering if you have those listed anywhere, how, which veggies 
how long in the instant pot. I got it. I got the instant pot. I've been having a lot oh, of fun with that. Good. Um, I think Bob, did you put a list together, Bob? Yeah. Yeah. There's. If you, it's on the Facebook page, Sherry. If you go to the file section, there's okay. a PDF in there that has a few. Um, and if people have more, I can update it. That's that's all. I'm kind of stuck on these vegetables because I I don't. Anyway. For me, I do zero. Like if I'm doing broccoli, it's zero. If I do zucchini, it's zero. If it's I did kale this morning, it's zero. I did um, uh, asparagus. Yep, zero. Carrots one because the, the, oh. the so just think about the ones that that are more hard. That would be like the baby carrots one. So um, do you eat any? Do, do you not eat raw vegetables at all? Oh yeah. Oh, I have big ass salads. Like, <laughs> you know I have big ass salads yeah, if you yeah, watch yeah. my channel um oh yeah I love raw but I just when I'm cooking if I'm cooking veggies then it's um uh that's how I do them in the instant pot thank you okay and the veggies the veggies can be raw or cooked it's yep. it's a personal preference yeah okay I yeah. I but I don't like actually uh, I, I would never eat asparagus raw. I, I don't eat broccoli raw. I don't really crazy about that. Kale, I don't like that raw. And um, carrots, well, shredded carrots, I like it. I put in my salads all the time. But the big ones, I, w I wouldn't eat those raw. So, yeah, everything that I cooked this morning is because those are the ones I eat cooked. Yeah. I'm going to have to try kale cooked because I don't like it raw. And I've never tried Good. So I'll do that. I'll try that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks Good. for Comes all the tips. Oh, sure. Great tips. So all right. Thank you, Sherry. And up next, Seattle Sue, Sherry's neighbor. Oh, my Hi, goodness. Look good. Hi, guys. I, I'm, uh, you know, I was ready to weigh myself this week and I, right, you know, had my morning ablutions done and by golly. I went and ate breakfast and I'm like, I need to weigh myself more. I, I need to, I'm one of those people that I should really get on the scale about once a week, but I can tell you honestly that I was running, been running around in my size 16 jeans. Now they were a little tight across the tummy and I'd take them off after a couple of hours, but I've been running around in my size 16s. And now the legs are feeling big. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, and I'm trying to shrink my size 18s in the dryer. So I really do need to get a scale weight. But I pump iron three times a week and muscle, you know, I can be shrinking in size because of pumping iron. Um, so anyway, I'm anxious to to see what the weight says on the scale too. But I really wanted to tell you, I had a real funny, uh, when I start visiting with you guys, I told myself I had to divorce peanut butter. It was my downfall. <laughs> and um, last week, there's very few, few groceries. We had to go grocery shopping and I had to have breakfast and we were out of eggs. So I looked at the list and I could have two ounces of peanut butter on top of my oatmeal. Well, you can just imagine the joy <laughs> smacking my lips. Give me a banana and a peanut butter and the oatmeal. Oh my gosh. Of course, I got it going on the scale there. I'm loading the peanut butter going. It's not two ounces yet. There goes another dab of peanut butter. What? More peanut butter? <laughs> it was so much peanut butter. I can hardly gulp it all down. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of done with peanut butter for a while. It was like, it was, <laughs> it was fun and laugh, but I thought of you, I thought I'd share that. And you know, another thing I thought of you ladies, um, I don't know, we didn't have any vegetables, no salad stuff. And there I'm sharing this recipe with you. That's so easy when you have, you know, you have nothing in the house, you've come home from work and you're starving. This is an old Weight Watcher recipe, and I'm always looking for heavy vegetables. And like I've talked to Lulu, it's like heavy vegetables, you know, get rid, get it all in. But it's one can of tuna, water-based, one 14-ounce can of green beans, 
warm it up in the frying pan with a little soy sauce and put a little um, onion flakes on top. Well, I was very pleased that the 14 ounce can of green beans, normally I don't eat canned, but I'm talking emergency ladies. <laughs> the 14 ounce can of green beans only ended up being nine ounces. So I had to open up another can and add a half a can more. <laughs> but um, that recipe, when you know, when you don't have time to go to the grocery store, it sounds, and I put the oil on the top and warmed it in the frying pan, you feel like you have a casserole. And it's just two simple things that most people have in their, in their pantry. And it was like, I had it for lunch. And I have to tell you, I can't believe I'm hungry <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> you know, when you eat the fresh veggies with the fiber, you don't get hungry so fast. But anyway, I thought I'd share that recipe, uh, that recipe with you all for those extreme emergencies and um the funniness about the two ounces of peanut butter oh my gosh <laughs> it was huge <laughs> so anyway that's it i maybe i'll have a wait next week i just got to get it at the right time i get breakfast so early i get up i eat breakfast and i have to go into the bathroom and strip down and weigh myself and i shower at night so anyway so but my clothes are feeling looser. So that's Great. all I got today. Good. Thank you. Excellent. For yeah. Thanks. Sometimes so. that's the best measurement right there. See it. So yep. Yep. How, whatever works your for you. Your clothes are getting better. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we've come to the end of people wanting to share. Thank you all so much. I mean, this is. Yeah. Thank again. you.